Hi there, it's Wayne here from Deep Blue Apps. A new template for you today for the Corona SDK. And this is actually more of a full game we've actually built for you. Um, so you can base it on and create a new game. Um, but to go with the actual template, we've actually built a level creator as well. So making the levels was um, quite easy. And the tool exporter, I will code and update all the data. And I will talk through that in a moment and show you how this all works. Um, but just for now, I'm just going to talk you through the template. Here it is running in Corona. Um, this is initially built in Corona 1137, the latest stable release. Um, and over time, I guess we will update it to support uh, future version, future staple versions, that is. So, Okay, so let's have a quick look at the template then. Well, this is the start screen. From here, you can change the options. So we can change the volume of the music. It's a lot better. Um, we can change the volume and uh, the uh, effects as well throughout the course of the game. So I'll leave them like they are for now. Back to the menu. We have the credits, so you can have your own credit screen. Maybe have a link to your own website. Obviously, this is all customizable. We've just put this in as a placeholder just to get you started. Okay, back to the menu. Next up, we have the start screen. Now, on the start screen, excuse me. On the start screen, we've had a lot of requests for people asking for level select and the ability to save levels, load levels, record the states of the levels, etc., etc. So, what we've done for this particular template, we've done it so there's 36 levels. Obviously, you can have 10 levels, you can have 1,000 levels. That's up to you. And that's all controlled. Oops, that's all controlled by um, a sliding panel, as you can see at the bottom here. As you proceed through the levels and complete a level, the next level will be unlocked as you go along. Um, and again, this is all saved um, in a um, file on, on people's devices, so it records their progress. Okay, so again, that's all fully implemented. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you the basic mechanics of the game then. So, level one. So, the first, si first thing you see is our granny at the top of a cliff. No reason why it's a glut granny, no reason why it's a cliff, it was just an idea that came to mind. But obviously we're thinking somebody jumping off a building, somebody jumping down a mountain, it could be anything you want really. And again, this is just a template and this is just placeholder graphics we use just to build this up for you. So the game is all one tap control, so you tap the left side of the screen, tap the right side of the screen to make the granny move. And the object of the game is to get to the bottom safely. So here we go, I'm going to tap to start. So on level one, you'll see some instructions. Now, I have built these in just to help people have a guide as to what you should be doing. Throughout the rest of the levels, there isn't any other information guide them. So here's our granny falling down the screen, collecting the coins. Um, got to avoid the obstacles, we've got some cliff edges, we've got some twigs and sticks. And then we have a slow motion option. So she jumps in on the slow motion, the game slows down, the music slows down and it gets easier to collect the coins, etc. Um, so that's a little feature, you can keep it, extend, extend it. Um, and again, so it zooms in, slows down, and off we go again. Okay, so she's falling down. Now tap in the deploy zone, there. So when Granny is actually in the deploy zone, if you tap, she'll release, in this case, her pantyhose, and help her glide down nice and slowly to the base that's gonna be at the bottom. Again, for your game, that could be a parachute to release, it could be a balloon, the squirrel releases to float down safely, and you've got to land on the platform at the bottom here. Here we go. Nice and easy. Now, well, just very quickly explain, those landing platforms you just saw, they can be any size, they can be moving, they can be moving fast, moving slow, and all that can be controlled from the level creator. Again, I'll show you that in a moment. So for level one, we kept it nice and simple, just a, a little base, a little granny had to land on. So you can either replay this level, we can go back to the menu, and we can go to the next level. And again, the data's been saved into the file, so this will be on the user's hard drive, uh, on the user's device. So they've got a high score and what level they're on. Okay, so moving on to the next level then. Now the next level here starts at the beginning, and you'll see, here we've got to collect the coins, we've got to collect. I'm just gonna quickly pause this and just explain the screen size here, whilst I'm playing on an iPhone 3, um, so standard iPhone size, the actual code will adapt itself for iPhone 4 and iPhone 5 as well. So if you're on an iPhone 5, the graphics do extend to the top and bottom of the screen. So that's in the code, as you'll see, after you've purchased and downloaded. So let's continue playing. 
So collecting these coins and oops, I crashed. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this opportunity now just to very quickly show you. This is level two and I crashed. Over here on the left is the level creator, which is a separate application you'll get with the download of the template. And to use it, you simply load in the level you're working on. So we're working on level two. Here it is. It's loaded into the preview. You can see where the coins are. They're the coins we just collected. And here's where our granny's just crashed here on this cliff here. So what you can actually do is actually, you can actually edit this within the designer. So if I go through and say, oh, I don't want this cliff edge now. So that cliff edge is gone. And I can say, I want a little cliff put in there, for example. Yeah. And I can say, I don't want all these coins to collect, like so. But what I do want, as my granny comes down, is a slow motion option. So I'll put a slow motion here just to help the user glide down and all I have to do is save this level obviously the corona interface will reload I can press start straight into level 2 and let's see what happens remember we've got rid of the cliff face and we put a slow motion icon in and let's see what happens now so we go down here we go and there it is also all, all built for you um, put into the lure code and loaded automatically. So really easy to build new le oh. really easy to build new levels. Um, I'm gonna have to complete this level now, aren't I? So now, just before I do complete this level, I'm gonna talk a bit more about the level creator again. So back over here, we can see this entire level how it's been built up and all the way down to the bottom. And there is the parachute zone, for example. In the actual tool, though, you can actually change the height of the parachute zone. We can actually we can actually change more of the details so there's more area now to tap the um, granny in the parachute zone we can set up how fast the whole screen goes so let's make this level a little bit faster so we'll change it up from four to seven that'll be a lot faster the landing base also is fixed in this position on the screen but what we're going to do we're going to make it a moving landing base so it's moving now and you get more options that move it from from what position to what position and by what speed and again you can change all these in the editor how you want them to be like so and we can make the base bigger or smaller so I'll make it a bit smaller and it's moving and it's going a bit faster so this is level 2 so now I'm going to save this level 2 now now I know what I've done here I've made it so hard I'm not even going to be able to complete the time but I'll give it a go there we go level 2 there Again, no code, no coding, just all done from the level editor. Oh dear, it's going a bit fast now. <laughs> Probably, yeah, it's a bit better slow motion, we like that. Mm, yep, okay. Slow, oh. I'm trying my best. I won't talk for a minute. Okay, I'm going to slow it down for the purpose of this demo, because I think I have said it before, save. I'm okay at writing games, I'm just rubbish at playing them. I want to get to the bottom to show you the landing platform. So let's go to level two again. Let's try and complete it. No talking, just concentration. Come on, we're getting there. Oh, oh, there we go. So, it's got to be a parachute zone soon. And you have to tap the granny while she's in the parachute zone. There it is. A lot bigger, because we made it bigger in our lever editor over here. To make it easy, make it, make it wane proof. Um, we're going to get to the bottom, there should be a landing platform moving left to right and a little bit smaller. That's set up in our level editor. So, nice and easy. Here it is, moving. Oh, it's too small for me. Oh, yes! And like that, said Wayne the Expert Gameplay. Alright, <laughs> joking apart. 
So now we can move on to the next level, level three, and so on and so on. Okay. Okay. So that's the menu. I'll turn the music down for a moment. What I'm going to do is just talk about the level editor a little bit more than now. So, so with the level editor, you can actually, without writing and touching any code, as I think you've just seen, you can actually create the levels you need. Um, so very easy for um, developers um, not having to worry about the code. Um, but if you do need to edit the code further and add your own obstacles and more effects, which is probably a good idea as well, you can obviously go into the Lua code and build them. Um, but what I'll just very quickly do is build a brand new blank level 2 just so you can see everything's actually all built up. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna reset this design, reset all the level. Okay, so over here on the left you can see I've got a blank, zones, no, nothing in there. So each of these zones on the right hand side here, these represent a single iPhone 3 screen. So in this case I've got 10 zones. What I could do is say I've only got two zones which is the minimum so over here on the left I can set up I've only got two zones uh, nice and simple so zone 1 and zone 2 and each zone has two screens so you can see zone 1a zone 1b and this is just to give you more variety before you get down to London so it's a nice blank one then so what I'm going to do on the left here I've got my tools that I can use again you can move these around how you want it to be but so for now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a few coins from the top, going down, like so. Bit of a shape at the bottom here. And like so. Okay. In the middle, I'm going to have the slow motion option. Near the end, not too close to the end, I'm going to have the parachute zone. So here's the parachute zone. So you tap where you want it to be. And it will show the height, depth and height. So I'm just going to change the height here to a bit smaller would be very hard for the user to tap when Granny's in this zone. So keep it, well that's up to you, keep it as big as you want. I'll make it a bit faster. I'll make the landing bases a bit bigger and moving. If they weren't moving, I can then set the position where they want it to be. Or I can say it is moving and you'll see two panels, two, two bases. And this is from, from this position to this position moving. So nice and simple for me. We like simple. Simple's good for me. That's okay, so keeping it nice and simple. So the next thing I do, that's my nice basic level, nice and done. Oh, I might just put some branches in, make it a little bit hard. Now again, the branches, this is the size of the actual size. So I can put them anywhere I like. So here to here to here, like so. But obviously if I go too far, you'll see the blank here. Now to cover that up, you could put another branch in there and that would show okay on the screen. And then to delete one, you just go to the blank option here and tap on the colored dot area where the branch extended from. And same with the other obstacles that you can add throughout the game. So I'll just put in that. I'll put in a couple of bonus here. And I'll put in a few more coins leading down to our parachute zone. And there it is. So a very simple level two more Wayne friendly. So I'll save this now as level two. Save, level two, choose. So now if we play the game over in the Corona simulator, and I go straight to level two, and it should be Wayne friendly. Ah yes, we like simple. Okay, and parachute. And that's more like it. There it is, and a moving base a little bit bigger this time. And they land on the base. Very good. Now what I'm going to show you is what happens if you miss the parachute zone. Jump off the cliff. Miss some of the objects. We go down, miss it. And she falls to her death. Not so pleasant. Try it again. Same again if we hit the parachute zone. But miss the base. Again, Granny will die, not so pleasant. So if I miss the base deliberately, crack, bones get broken, and off she goes to heaven. And you can replay the game again. So so yeah, so a full Corona template, a full level editor, where you can edit all the levels. Again, we've done you 36 levels. 
Um, devilishly complicated some of them, quite easy some of the others. So you can see this is level 36, good luck on that one. Um, let's have a look at level 14, again horribly complicated. Um, I would just point out it's much easier to play on your device um, than it is tapping on the screen, but um, for our testing purpose obviously we did it on the simulator. So yeah, that's the Granny Dive template, level selections, lots of options, saving of levels. Um, download it today and enjoy!